Hi, I'm Wesley Moon. Welcome to my New York City residence. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about artwork. We're going to talk about how I like to display artwork, different ways to build a collection, and how to incorporate that into your interior design. Behind me here is a collection that I put together in my own living room. It's really important when you're building a collection to make sure you love every single piece. I always tell my clients, if you don't have the right piece for a spot, then wait until you get it. I do a lot of referencing uh, to historical interiors whenever I design, and I love paneled rooms. But I didn't want my living room to have like a heavy wood panel feel. So I created these little strips and I paneled as in sectioned off the walls in a way that kind of divides it up, creates this little seating area behind me framed around wallpaper. Three different patterns all in the same colorway to mix and match inside those panels. So it was a way to get an interesting texture but still keep it consistent. Whenever you buy things that you love, it's automatically going to represent you in some way. I found that art is actually the most personal thing in a space. It's something that you really have to connect with. And people want to feel something when they look at their artwork. It's not as intimate as a piece of furniture or a wall covering. Those things are, of course, very important. But when it comes to artwork, that's how people really express who they are in their home. One of the biggest myths about art is people think you have to hang it on a white wall. I mean, you see it in galleries on white walls, you see it in museums on white walls, but that's not how people live. The important thing is just to be sure that the art complements and doesn't fight with the wall finish. You also have to think about scale. Is there pattern in the wallpaper or pattern on the wall finish? That scale has to be the opposite of the scale of the art. Framing is so important. You have to think about the frame as well. How is that frame gonna divide the piece from the wall finish? Another thing I've found about art is, as long as you love it, it's going to work. You can find a way to make it work. You should never decorate around a piece of art. You should never try to have a piece of art match your decor, per se. If that piece of art represents you, then somehow it's gonna work in your home, because your home should represent you.